Hello and welcome back to your next installment of Dimension CC. Um, today we're going to be working with glass. We're going to be, uh, you know, basically trying to figure out how to make glass look good. Uh, I got a question on one of my videos about how to make glass look good. So I made some glass and it looks bad. This looks bad. This is a high render, a high quality render. It took like 22 hours and this doesn't look good. I wasn't sure what was happening and did some experiments made some adjustments, and I then came up with this one, which looks much better. So I don't really get why this is happening, but I think I know what's making this. I can show you guys how to stop this weird sort of solid metallicness happening. It's very strange, anyways. And how to get it to this. And we'll be talking a few more things about glass. So, you know, let's dive in. So first off, the three glasses here in the center. These are the three glasses that come preloaded. This is just the glass, this is the frosted glass, and then this is the cracked glass. And I wanted to show them all together so you can all see the glasses. Now, if we look here, the bottom half actually looks pretty believable. It's this upper half that has this weird sort of solidness behind it that I don't understand. Um, and also, the regular glass is green. Come on. Uh, you know, software designers at Dimension CC. What is going on here? Because this looks awful. This is garbage, unusable. Um, and it's a glitch that is in the program. And so hopefully I can highlight this so you guys can maybe fix it in a later update. All right, plus, you know, this glass is green. It's like it's in the matrix. Why is glass green and then all the other ones with textures like actually transparent like real glass is? So I don't know. So I made some changes and I got to this. So let's talk about how I got to this and why it looks different. So I'm going to open up my Dreamweaver. As you can see, I am rendering another thing. Um, and this was me confirming my hypothesis. As you can see, they are completely filled in. They are not transparent at all. So let me show you what has been happening. So these are the four bottles, five bottles. These are the five bottles. And basically, you're going to want to go over here, this thing. This is messing it all up. If you have anything above this line that's glass, it's going to create these things, these solidness here that doesn't need to be there. Um, because I moved the line down or up above the products and they all came out clear. So, you know, it's a quick fix, but Again, this isn't something you should have to do, so software designers at Adobe Dimensions, please get on this. So this is this is the render of this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this up real quick, way up here, and then move my bottles back down, select all, and then bring them back down to the surface. Okay, let's try render again. Do like a quick render. I'll fast forward through this for you guys. So, okay, so you know we're just like three minutes into this render, and it's going to take a long time to full render it because it's a bunch of glass, and glass takes forever. And it's really intensive. But if we follow this out, it's basically it's going to turn turn into this one. Uh, as you can see, the glass is transparent. The background, of course, is going to appear in after this reaches 100. It's going to go back down, and then for another six hours, start rendering it with the background. And we'd get, we'd get it looking like this, uh, more or less. Now, all this looks pretty good, except right here on the very far right bottle, we're still getting a little bit of like this kind of odd color coming in, this sort of weird solid kind of artifact from the background, which, you know, is a lot more intense on this side. You know, it comes out very full, and then it cuts all the way off right here. So, you know. That's how that would look. And I'm just going to do one more thing just so you guys can really understand what I'm saying. By This is going to cut the transparency in half for whatever the reason. And there's no reason for it. So gosh, programmers, get busy. Okay? Okay. Get busy on fixing this. So now check this out. I'm going to quick render this. I'll skip ahead. And I want you guys to, to see where it, where it cuts it through the middle. And it's exactly where that horizon line that I was toying with was. 
Okay, so we're back here again three minutes, and it's, you know, it's pretty grainy, but you get the idea. This is that line. It's cutting right through where it was, and everything underneath, it hasn't rendered in the background yet, but it's a much more believable class. And then this has, like, this isn't going to change. Like, that really fuzzy, blurry stuff that looks makes it look kind of solid, it's, that's just going to look more and more solid. You know, again, this is what you're going to get with. You're going to get that line. All this up here is going to be like that, and all that below the line is like that. So, I feel like you guys get the idea, so I'm going to cancel this render. And right now, we're just going to go back into design, select all, we're just going to delete everything. And, uh, let's see, I'm going to delete the background. You know, just make it a color, nice white. Um, and for the environment, let's just do a basic panel lighting. Okay. So, you know, let's drop in a shape. Let's do another bottle. F to center on screen, and again, let's just start messing with these glass materials, because if we do the regular glass, it, it's going to look green, it's weird metallic stuff on it, look at this, it's, this isn't going to be what we want, see, look at that, it's pretty green, um, it's not, it's not that great, uh, but as you can see, it's loading more, you know, quicker because I got one bottle, this is where that line is, so, Let's, let's just kind of go through and look at the material really quick. Let's go to the bottle, let's go to the bottle material, and let's try and make this more believable. So let's go to the base color, just make it like white. Um, material color, yeah, okay, that's white. So, I don't know, that's already very glassy. Uh, maybe turn down our environment intensity a little bit. You know, but again, it's a little too low. So, you know, it's just on a white background, so it's just like, it's not getting the greatest thing. So let's drop in another background. Let's do like a city background. And, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna do that. So, probably skip some of this stuff. I got this match image that popped up, so I'm just going to click OK. This is just an OK thing to do. It's loading. Yes, welcome to Dimension CC on a laptop, where everything takes much longer. All right, so as you can see, the perspective has changed. It's a little bit more intense. Um, it's matching the environment scape, which is nice. That looks good. And, I don't know, that looks pretty nice, so let's just do a quick render on that, see how that pops up, see if we get that weird line again. Alright, so we're six minutes into this render, and, you know, I'm honestly really surprised, because it's rendering out really nicely, and I didn't adjust that weird horizon line thing anywhere. Um, but for this picture, it's actually graphicing out that pretty good. So I'm just going to like, I don't know where, maybe it's just on this picture, this glitch keeps happening. Because this picture, it obviously didn't really do it. Um, as you can see, the line is there. Um, so, you know, right at the horizon line. And yeah, I don't know, it look, looks pretty good on this picture. Uh, I'm not really going to go through and test every background, but... If you're on a background like the table background, uh, where it produces this in super horrible, ugly looking uh, problem, I, I showed you how to fix it. You basically just grab this, pull it like way up there, and then just kind of like rotate the bottle so that it looks nice. And, um, yeah, that, that's, that's what you have to do to avoid that. So, uh, at this point forward, if, you, if you're still watching, first off, thank you. Um, but if you found this helpful at all, or if you thought it was interesting, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. YouTube um, demonetizes videos, so, you know, every like and subscribe I get helps me out creating these and 
helps me to produce more helpful content for all of you. So if you like it, please, you know, no worries if you don't, whatever. It's just, okay, so I'm just going to click all, and I'm just going to kind of mess around with class some more. So, you know, you guys can watch me do that, maybe learn a couple things. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to like cut and drop in some stuff and just toy around. Um, to mess around with the different glasses. Uh, so let's go over to some, uh, what is this? Damaged glass. So in damaged glass, it has a normals layer for its, under its shape. It has a normals pattern, which gives it the damaged crack shape. And it also has a roughness image that gives it um, the damage and crack shape. So Another way to get good clear glass is to just open up the damaged glass or the frosted glass and just going over to the shape and just deleting that. Deleting the normals and going over to roughness or any other picture that, you know, takes and just trashing it. And, I don't know, turn it all the way down. Um, color, white. Yeah, white's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's white. Terrier refraction, you drop down if you want. Now basically what this does is the index of refraction. It's like, kind of like how thick your glass is, like how much of like a depth you want like light to be bouncing off inside of it. Um, let's just gonna look at that real quick. See what that looks like. Yeah, so that looks really metallic. I'm sure this is what um, the user who asked me the question about how to make glass look not metallic, I'm sure this is exactly what he was talking about. Um, so yeah, my index of refraction is up pretty high. So let's, let's turn that down to um, not one, but let's give it something. Yeah, and you know, it's it's still a little gray. Go over to environment. Just kind of bump up the environment a little bit. See what happens. Now it's getting lighter. Maybe make it a little more. Maybe colorize it white. Yeah, and I'm losing a lot of that metallic edge at this point. Um, and if your highlights are too bright, you can always colorize it to be a little less. I like white highlights. That's just me. It's like, it's like, you know, that's my thing. Um, but, you know, glass is particularly not very interesting if you have it on a stark white background. It's really, it flourishes when it's in like, a, it's actually got an environment or something that's behind the glass particularly. Because otherwise, it's, there's nothing that interesting about it. Some dropping in a different background now for the load. So it's taking its sweet, luxurious time. Here we go. Uh, that bottle render up the background a little bit. And it's loading. Yes. This is using Adobe Dimensions on a laptop. Yeah, let's just match everything. It's a pain to try and eyeball it. Um, so slow. So, so, so slow. As you can see, it's still... Oh, there it goes. And it's going to kind of get here. Oh, and there it looks a lot less like glass. I mean, sorry, it looks a lot more like glass. And of course, um, you know, it's got really good transparency. We don't have any of like the, the normal patterns of the cracked glass. Because remember, this started off as damaged cracked glass. Uh, and now it, it is just a clean, clear, undamaged glass. It is beautiful. So, let us just kind of... Let's trash this. And it's not letting me trash that, so I'm just going to... 
that lighting and change that. So basically the metallicness that you're probably getting in the bottle, if you're getting a lot of metallicness, is coming from really just like your environment, you know? Uh, it, it's it, on a, it's you're using a white background or using a background that is different from your uh, environment image. And so you're getting a lot of blacks that are coming from the image because this is the image that's being used. So if we went to maybe like this, it's going to come out less black. Um, let's it'll load. There, it's loading. Now it looks, now oh, it looks bizarre. But I think I was able to do this. I could do that. It's not letting me. It would probably look more normal if this was actually my background image. Um, so, you know, I guess a good bit of information is just trash the, the environment image. Um, it's not getting rid of the environment image. I'll just turn off the environment. So that just goes to black. Let's turn on sunlight. Let's colorize the sunlight, make it white. Let's Bring this over here. Let's rotate it so we got a front facing. Let's make it super cloudy. Let's make it really bright. Ooh, that's looking weird. Let's drop the height so it's like right on top of itself. Oh, goodness, that looks off. Oh gosh, that is black. As black as night. That looks almost. That looks incredibly metal. Oh gosh, you guys. Uh, dimensions. What the fuck? I mean, excuse my language, but that is not what sunlight makes glass look like. Um, and if I don't want an environment light, I, I don't see why I. It's looking like this. I don't know. Um, I guess I could just make a white image that I could upload as this file. I don't know. I have an aspect ratio here. I'm going to set in Photoshop. Make it nice and big. Layer. Make it all white. Save as JPEG. Okay. There's that. And just, just put a white image in there. Something's happening. You know, that doesn't look super white. Is this white not white? It's not white. Okay, so let's just make this even wider. So guys, check that. Place it. Okay. And let's upload that again. And there, uh, you know, that looks Looks pretty good. Turn off sunlight. Yeah, okay, so now that looks like glass. So again, if you want it to just be a white background, you have to create uh, in your environment image, you need a, a white image. Uh, basically, whatever your background is, you need the image from your environment to be the same image that's going to be on your background. Because otherwise, um, it's, it's just going to look weird. Because remember, guys, glass is transparent. But this program is only going to function like with, um, you know, it's only going to reflect what your environment is and what it has on your environment. And there's no preset white environment background. So uh, I think, I don't know, I think this is everything. Um, if, if there's something I missed, uh, gosh, please let me know. But I feel like this is pretty um, complete. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. If you stuck it through to this long, uh, congratulations. There's no prizes. Um, just have a great day.